Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York. It is Monday, June 13th, 2016, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We have a mixed bag in the precious metals markets in terms of net change on the day, but we have a strong rally continuing in gold, Gold closing up about $11 on the day, 1287.10. That is our current print when we look at COMEX. Traded to a low of 1275 and a high of 1290 today. Silver also trading higher on the day, up about a half a percent, 0.47. Not nearly the kind of move that we're seeing in gold. Gold having roughly a double percentage gain when we compare it to silver. Nonetheless, we have silver trading well over 17, just under uh, 1750, and it looks like it will settle at around 1740, 1741. No doubt, a very, very strong open when we look at what gold has done today, up 0.87%, almost a full percentage gain. A 1287.10 is our current print as we look at COMEX going into settlement. From last week, of course, we went long on Monday. We went long roughly at 1244. We bought the breakout as this market after having that $30 move on Friday, I believe, came in and had a quiet or slightly higher move, but the move maintained itself above this 23% retracement level, and that was one of the primary factors that signaled that long. Of course, we put our stop initially at 1220. We moved it up on Friday, and yesterday I sent out a special trade alert recommending that all traders take their stop and move it above or excuse me, below 1260. 1260 is a point and 1262 that I'm looking at as a an area that should be a supportive area of gold. The catch 22, of course, as we trail stops up, is that I want to be able to capture a maximum amount of profit on this trade. We have locked in uh, the profit between 45 and 60, but the market's trading closer to 90. Really, the key is that you want to put your stop typically to the low that it acquired three days ago, which still puts us in that 1260 area, but I'm absolutely considering moving it to the low that we saw on Friday, which comes in at around 1268, moving it up another $8. On one hand, I certainly don't want to cut off a profits if the market continues to run. However, the high that we hit at 1290 is significant in that it does go into an area of potential resistance. And of course, the area that I'm speaking about in terms of potential resistance is really a band. It comes in from this close that we had, which is significant, of course, because that close was the highest close that we have seen this year in terms of the price of gold. We are looking at a weekly chart. And so this is the area that I have been looking at as a potential conclusion to the first wave of this rally that has moved gold strongly to the upside since coming off of this move from about what 1305 so we had a move that really took us from 1040 up to 1305 a correction that was a 38 percent retracement then a move up so we could easily find some resistance here and if we do traders i'm still overall extremely bullish on the market but we might see some sort of pullback profit taking or correction we have tightened our stops and so that if the market does come down we'll be part and parcel or part of the group that does pull profits but traders you can really see where the number or the high today matches with an area that we could find some resistance and that is based upon the conclusion of our first wave which occurred roughly at 1286. The market is trading roughly at that price point. You can see we had a high above it, but we certainly, certainly could not take that particular price point out. And so that's another reason that I do believe we could see this market, in fact, 
find some sort of resistance in this area and come back down. Irregardless, we're long at 45 and the key right now is to try to maximize the profit on this trade. And we will continue to trail the stops up those that believe they're satisfied with profits can go ahead and pull it at any time, of course. But my suggestion is we'll probably move our stop now to about 1268, 1270 to account for the low that we had on Friday. And thereby, if the market continues to track higher, we're in. But if it does back off, it'll knock us out, but it will knock us out with a profit. I will send out a special trade alert to that effect to trail your stop up a little bit tighter, roughly below 1268. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.